Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Sky above, voice within. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? The Blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the Dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the Blades to be used for their own purposes? Do not be so sure about that. Beware. The Blades may claim to serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. As for me, I kept from you only what you were not yet ready to know. Are still not ready to know, as your question reveals. No, not now. Not until you return to the path of wisdom. Dragonborn, wait. Uh, forgive me, I was intemperate. I allowed my emotions to cloud my judgment. Master Einarth reminded me of my duty. The decision whether or not to help you is not mine to make. No, I cannot teach it to you because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend. But its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrend holds no place within the way of the voice. It was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. He speaks to us only rarely and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax.
path to Parthenax lies through this gate. I will show you how to open the way. is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, you will reach the summit.
Golok. Greetings, Wundunik. I am Parthenax. Who are you? What brings you to my Strunmach, my mountain? I am as my father Akatosh made me, as are you, Dovahkiin. Tell me, why do you come here, Volan? Why do you intrude on my meditation? Hmm. Drem. Patience. There are formalities which must be observed at the first meeting of two of the Dove. By long tradition, the Elder speaks first. Hear my Thum. Feel it in your bones. Match it if you are Dovahkiin. for Tinvark. Not as Elf, but as Dova. Ah, yes! Sosedo Vlostmul! The dragon blood runs strong in you. It is long since I had the pleasure of speech with one of my own kind. So, you have made your way here to me. No easy task for a jaw, mortal. Even for one of Dovah's source, dragon blood. What would you ask of me? Ah, I have expected you, Proda. You would not come all this way for Tinvak with an old Dova. No, you seek your weapon against Alduin. Hmm, yes, they are very protective of me, Bahlan Fadon. But I do not know the Thum you seek. Croesus, it cannot be known to me. Your kind, Jor, mortals, created it as a weapon against the Dove, the dragons. Our Hadrime, our minds, cannot even comprehend its concepts. Drem, all in good time. First, a question for you. Why do you want to learn this, Thum? Yes, Alduin, Zembach, the elder brother, gifted, grasping, and troublesome as is so often the case with Firstborn. But why? Why must you stop Alduin? Prusa, as good a reason as any. There are many who feel as you do, although not all. 
Some would say that all things must end, so that the next can come to pass. Perhaps this world is simply the egg of the next Kalpa, Lean Vokin? Would you stop the next world from being born? Paz, a fair answer. Rofus, maybe you only balance the forces that work to quicken the end of this world. Even we who ride the currents of time cannot see past time's end. Wulsetid los trahodis. Those who try to hasten the end may delay it. Those who work to delay the end may bring it closer. But you have indulged my weakness for speech long enough. Croesus, now I will answer your question. Hmm. Do you know why I live here, at the peak of the Monaven, what you name Throat of the World? This is the most sacred mountain in Skyrim, Sokravakstruma, the great mountain of the world. Here, the ancient tongues, the first mortal masters of the voice, brought Alduin to battle and defeated him. Mm, yes and no, Viknuzni Karon. Alduin was not truly defeated either. If he was, you would not be here today seeking to defeat him. The Nords of those days used the Dragonrend shout to cripple Alduin, but this was not enough. Okmulag Unslad. It was the Kel, the Elder Scroll. They used it to cast him adrift on the currents of time. Hmm, how to explain in your tongue? The Dove have words for such things that Jaw do not. It is an artifact from outside time. It does not exist, but it has always existed. Rahwalan, they are mm, fragments of creation. The Kelly, Elder Scrolls as you name them, they have often been used for prophecy. Yes, your prophecy comes from an Elder Scroll. But this is only a small part of their power. Zofa Suyek. Not intentionally. Some hoped he would be gone forever, forever lost. Meye. I knew better. Tidbo Amativ. Time flows ever onward. One day he would surface. Which is why I have lived here. For thousands of mortal years, I have waited. I knew where he would emerge, but not when. Tid Krent. Time was shattered here because of what the ancient Nords did to Alduin. If you brought that Kel, that Elder Scroll, back here to the Tid Ahran, the Time Wound, 
With the Elder Scroll that was used to break time, you may be able to cast yourself back to the other end of the break. You could learn Dragonrend from those who created it. Crosis, no, I know little of what has passed below in the long years I have lived here. You are likely better informed than I. Trust your instincts, Dovahkiin. Your blood will show you the way. Drem your look. Greetings. Soon, Ark Morag.